This is the chapter nine homework for cost accounting. So exercise one, this is talking about an expect a schedule of expected cash collection. Midwest Productions is a wholesale distributor of leaf rakes. Thus, peak sales occur in August of each year, as shown in the company's sales budget for the third quarter, given below. From past experience, the company has learned that 20% of the month's sales are collected in the month of the sale, and another 70% are collected in the month following the sale, and the remaining 10% are collected in the second month following the sale. Bad debts are negligible and can be ignored. May sales totaled 430000 and June totaled 540000 Prepare a schedule of cash collections from sales by month in total for the third quarter. Assume that the company prepared a budgeted balance sheet for September 30th. Calculate, um, compute the accounts receivable as of that date. Okay, so this information was given in the book, and then we have given information in the problem. So, um, I'm going to add the given information here in the problem, which was cash collected in month of sale is 20%, cash collected in month following sale, 70%. Cash collected. We'll use these all in our formula. Collected in second month following sale is the remaining 10%. Okay. So we have these percentages. We also know that May sales, May sales were 430,000. And June sales were 540,000. Okay. So I'm going to copy these dates right over here. And this is going to be our schedule of cash collections. Okay, so we have May sales, and May to June, June to July, it's two months following. So we're going to take the May sales and multiply it by the 10% because it's two months following July. And June sales is the following month, so the 540 times the 70%. And then in July, we will also collect July sales, and July is... Budgeted sales times the 20% that will be collected in that month. Now, in August, it will be two months following June sales. So we'll take the June sales and multiply by the 10% for two months. In July, it will be the second month. So we take July sales and we multiply by the 70%. And then we have to add August sales. And in August, we will have 900,000, and it will be our first month of sale, so in the same month. Now we're going to add September. We won't collect any September in August. Now, July will be two months out. July will be two months out in September, so we'll collect 10%. August will be one month out, so August sales times... 70%. And then September sales will be in the first month. So it will be 20% of that. Total cash collections. So in order to total this, I'm going to just add up the columns. And this will be how much we expect in July. Make this look all pretty. Huh, and I'm just going to drag over my formula. And I'll actually drag it over here. And then we'll get the total from May sales that will be collected in this quarter. And in order to get the total here, I'm just going to add straight across. 
then I'm going to drag my formula down. And so, in May, for May sales, we'll collect, in this quarter, we'll collect 43,000. For June sales, we'll collect 432,000. And for July sales, we'll collect 600,000, the whole amount. August sales, we'll collect 810, and we'll collect 100,000 100, from September. For a total cash collection in this quarter of 1,985,000. Notice that although peak sales were August, that the cash collection peaks in September because that's when 70% of August sales will be collected. So number two says accounts receivable at September 30th. Okay. We've collected all of July all of May, June, and July. All of their money has been collected at this point by the end of the quarter. So we will have August sales and this equals August sales and two months later because we collected it September so we have 10% remaining. And then we have September sales And we have 70% plus another 10% remaining times September sales. I made a little mistake in my formula. So we have 70% remaining because in October they'll collect 70% of September. And then in November they'll collect 10 more percent. So we basically have 80% remaining. So AR as of September 30th equals the total of this. Or 490,000. This is a schedule of cash collections. We are going to move on to our budget, production budget. So, exercise 9 2. Crystal Telecom has budgeted sales of its innovative mobile phone over the next four months as follows, given here. The company is now in the process of preparing production budget for the third quarter. The past experience has shown that end of month finished goods inventory must be 10% of next month's sales and that inventory at end of June was 3,000 units. Prepare a production budget for third quarter showing the number of units per month and the quarter total. Okay. So, in order to prepare this production budget, we're going to have budgeted production budget. Actually, I'm going to start by putting down the given information. So, finished goods, 10% of next month's sales. June ending inventory, 3,000 units. Okay, so production budget. And we need this for July, August, September. Total. Make these look all pretty. Okay, so we start with budgeted sales. July is listed up here. August, September. And we have a total. October is not part of the quarter. Okay, so 
then in order to calculate how much we need to produce, we need to add desired ending inventory. Now remember, up here it told us that our desired ending inventory is 10% of next month's sales. So I'm going to take the 10%. I'm going to hit F4. And I'm going to take next month's sales. Sorry, 10% crimes, next month's sales. In August, I'm going to have 10% of September's sales. And in September, I'm going to have 10% of October sales, which is listed up here. In order to have my desired ending inventory, it would be my September ending inventory. So we add these together there to get total needs, total production needs. So we're going to add these two columns together. Let's get a little line here. And then I'm just going to drag my formula across. Now, Remember, that's not what we need to produce, that's what we need, but we also have beginning inventory. Now, June ending inventory was 3,000 units. I'm going to get rid of those two zeros so it doesn't look. And for August, the, end, the beginning inventory in August is ending inventory in July. Beginning inventory in September is ending in August. And beginning inventory is our total for the quarter, is what we begin in July. So, required production. So, our required production equals our total needs minus beginning inventory. So we'll need 31,500 units to be produced in July, 46,500 in August, and 59,000 in September. And a total for the quarter of 137,000 units. This is a production budget.